How's it going everybody? John McLennan here. I hope you're having a great day and in today's video I'm going to show you how to play Up on Cripple Creek as recorded by the band. This is a classic tune and I love the band. They're one of my favorite bands of all time. I mean every member in this band was an incredible musician and just a unique personality. Now I'm going to go through how to play this song. I'm going to break down the intro lead. Then we're going to jump into the verse and chorus chord progressions. And I'm going to show you how I would play it on an electric guitar. You could of course take the same chords that I say throughout the video and just play the acoustic chord versions for them as well but I'm going to show you kind of this funkier electric part in today's video. Before we get into the video, all I ask is that you hit the thumbs up button. You're getting this information completely for free and just hitting the thumbs up button really does help out the channel. And of course, subscribing and checking out the links below as well. All right, with that said, let's dive into this lesson. Let's break down how to play Up on Cripple Creek as recorded by the band. Now we're only going to use a few chords and there's three sections we're going to cover. The first part we're going to start with is this intro guitar line and it goes like this. <laughs> And then we're into the verse there. So this is a little pentatonic lick that starts on the fifth fret of the A string. And you're gonna play five, seven. Then go to five on the D string. One and two and three and four and. So it starts right on the downbeat. Then we do the same thing again, but we're gonna add a hammer on from five to seven now on the D string at the end. So the first lick is, and then the second lick is, and then both of those together. Now the rhythm, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a... It's a funky little lick there, and then we start the verse. Now I do have a little bit of distortion, the tone is just starting to break up, and I'm going to play more of an electric rhythm style for the verse. But you could take these same chords that I'm saying, a, D, and E, which are the only three chords you need for the verse, and of course play acoustic open versions if that's easier for you. So we're going to start off with a bar of A, then a bar of D, then we're going to do a split bar, A and D in the third bar, and then E in the fourth bar. So if I just play one strum on each chord, one, two, three, four, That's the verse progression, and it's four bars long, and then it repeats. Now I might add a slightly funkier rhythm to that and play something like this. So I'm taking a simple progression and I'm just making it a little funkier and giving it a little bit of a rhythm style. I, off the E I play this little lick. And that's just playing off the next inversion here. So here's your E and then if you put the G sharp in the bass, you can play this and you get all these cool pentatonic kind of lines out of this position like. So those are sort of just like my Hendrix style grab bag licks off of the E there. So I'll play it one more time. This is going to be all eight bars for the verse. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Thank you. 
Then we get into the chorus, and that goes like this. Up on Cripple Creek. So what I played here was a five bar phrase, and we've got a few new chords. We're gonna start off with a bar of A, up on Cripple Creek, then to D for a bar, then to E for a bar. Now, I went down to this open position E chord, which I like playing, or of course, you could have played the same E as we did in the verse. Up here, the bar chord, which looks the same as the D, just two frets higher. So up on Cripple Creek, she mends me if I spring a leak. She bends me, I don't have to speak. There's your E. And then a drunkard's dream if I ever did see one. So that's gonna be F sharp minor. And you could play that like this to a G. I, I'm opting here for the thumb version of this. I talk a lot about that on my channel. These are just, this is the way my hand works. It's just very comfortable doing this because I've done it for so long. So F sharp minor to G. So all together there, we're gonna play A, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, then E, two, three, then two beats each, one, two, three, four, then let this ring for the fifth bar. Okay, so we've got up on Cripple Creek. Did I spring a leak? She mends me, I don't have to speak. She defends me, a drunkard's dream. If I ever did see one, two, three, four, back. Then we're back straight into the verse. All right, so I'm gonna put this all together. I'm gonna start out with that intro line. Then I'm gonna go to the verse, which is eight bars. Then I'm gonna go to the chorus, and I'm gonna end on that G. Here we go. A one, two, three, four. that again. Chorus, up on Cripple Creek. She mends me, I don't have to speak. She defends me, a drunkard's dream. If I ever did see one, two, three. Have fun practicing Up on Cripple Creek by the band. I hope you got some value out of today's video. Make sure and go and play it along with the actual recording. Levon Helm, the drummer for the band, his pocket was just so incredible and he had such a great groove. So I love playing along with these recordings and just trying to get that vibe and feel into my own playing. Before you go, if you're interested in learning to solo over this chord progression like what I was doing at the beginning of this video, just a little free flowing, you're going to want to check out the free book that I have in the description below called Melodic Expressions. And it's a book I wrote all about soloing. It's a little bit more of an advanced book, but it's really going to help you out if you want to play some lead lines and work on your soloing. If you want to support me, you can buy that book on the iTunes bookstore for $15, or you can get it for free in the description below as my gift to you. All right, keep practicing, and we'll see you in the next lesson.